on everyone, it's your man Testament, just thanking all you guys for tuning in. I seriously want to thank the community for actually stopping by, hitting that like button, subscribing, uh, just showing the love. I seriously appreciate it, it means a lot, and uh, I'm really excited to share with you guys this next series. This is something I've been wanting to add to the channel for a little bit. We have Tetra, who's a sponsored player of the Umbert House, who was willing to do this video for us. And so, definitely tune in, I think you guys will like it. It's very informative and about something that everybody's been asking about, classic format. So with that being said guys, sit back and enjoy. This kind of is a separate format. Uh, it wasn't exactly what we were expecting, but it's what we got. So we're gonna have to deal with it for now, whether you like it or not. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Tetra of Umbrin House. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be going over the classic format. Some of you may be newer players, some of you may be experienced players. Either way, we all are going to be playing in classic format for this uh, short duration for this 2019 competitive season. So basically, we had some power creeps in wave one, and that is the whole reason for this rotation, as they're calling it. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the cards that are being rotated are going to be completely done and gone with. You're never going to be able to use them again. Um, for all we know, there could be multiple different formats in Lightseekers, um, which is, you know, good news to some, bad news to others. But um, either way, we're all playing Lightseekers. We're all here to have a fun time. So what I'm going to do today is just go over the classic format, what it entails, and uh, hopefully give you guys some insight on, you know... Uh, how to go about navigating this classic format and just educating you guys on you know what cards you can use what cards you can't use we're gonna be giving you a lot of tools so that you can do your own research and figure it out if you haven't done so already uh, we'll have links for all this stuff right down at the bottom in the description for you as well so definitely feel free to click these links you know fill, use the filter system and see which cards you can and cannot have in your deck so basically what classic format is is some of the Awakening cards got rotated. Now, any cards in Mythical or Kindred are perfectly legal. Any cards that got reprinted in Mythical or Kindred um, from Awakening are also going to be legal. But for now, all the cards that are going to be rotated, uh, we have combo cards, we have action cards, and then we have heroes. So I'm going to go over each one. Action cards, we can have one of any action card that is going to be rotated. So for an example, uh, emergency system, I believe is going to be rotated. So you can have an emergency system in your deck, but you can only have one emergency system in your deck. Now that also doesn't limit you from having other rotating action cards. Um, I shouldn't even say rotating because that's kind of, you know, a gameplay element. But um, cards that are being rotated, not while you're playing. <laughs> Um, you can only have one of those in your deck of one copy. So, like I said, uh, Emergency System, I believe, is being rotated. You can have one copy of Emergency System in your classic deck. Um, now, also, Ancient Miner is another action card that's being rotated. You can have one Ancient Miner and also one Emergency System in your deck, but you can only have one copy of those action cards if they are being rotated um, in your main deck and your side deck. So you can't have, you know... It, it wouldn't even really make much sense to have one Ancient Miner in your regular deck and then one in your side deck, considering you can't have two copies of that card in your deck. So it wouldn't make any sense to do that. But you can actually have uh, a rotated action card in your side deck and then sub it in for a different card. Um, obviously, if you don't have two copies of that card in your deck, you can use it. So you can sideboard um, action cards that are, are being rotated. Go over to the database. Like I said, we're going to have links down at the bottom, and you can actually filter these cards. Um, there is a little legal filter now. Um, if you press yes, that means that they are legal for classic format. Any action card you can have three of in your deck. If the legal says no, um, then you can only have one of those uh, rotated cards in your classic deck. Um, if you have more than one, it is not considered a classic deck. Now we're going to move on to combos now. Combos, I think, is what really hit us hard. Avalanche is a Storm and a Mountain Cross Order combo. All Cross Order combos are getting rotated, so you can only have one maximum Cross Order combo in your deck regardless 
of anything. You can't have an avalanche in your main deck and then another rotated combo in your side deck and then switch those two out together. I know that was a common question that was asked. Um, you cannot do that. You can only have one of these combo cards between your entire deck and your side deck combined. So on to banned cards, the cards that you cannot play with currently at all whatsoever. Um, now the article on the Play Fusion website, um, which will also be linked down there, um, gives us a list of banned cards. And these banned cards are Shadow Wraith, which is a Dread card, Pollen Weaver, which is a Nature card, Moon Song, which is an Astral combo, Sun Beacon, which is a Astral action card, and Tyrex Engineer, which is a Tech action card. Now, all of these cards are banned currently. You cannot use them in any physical tournament whatsoever. Um, but on the news article, it does say the list of banned cards are still in effect until the release of Uprising. Um, and then it gives a list of the cards. So basically what this means is that we still can't use these cards no matter what in any kind of physical play, at least until the release of Uprising is what they're telling us. I also forgot to mention the heroes. Any rotated hero, and like I said, if you go to the database and you legal filter no for any kind of heroes, it will tell you exactly which heroes are getting rotated. Um, any hero that has a legal no filter on it, you cannot play whatsoever in the classic format. So whereas combo and action cards have kind of a restriction on how many of them you can play, how many of them you can have in your deck, things like that, um, any rotated hero you cannot play at all whatsoever in classic format. Now there are cards that do have erratas currently, um, and I will go over them real quick with you guys. Um, we do have Reality Rift, we have Speargate, Wind Controller, Time Worm, um, and all of these are, you know, either action or combo cards. Um, all the ones that I mentioned so far. And basically what they just did with all of these cards is they just slapped burn on them. And what burn is, it means that you can't get it back from your discard. So they just saw that some of these uh, these cards had issues, you know, with, you know, being able to get them back from your discard pile and kind of neglecting them to, you know, break the game. Um, next we have Lone Shark Reefy, which is a hero that, you know, did have its uh, time and place and then they nerfed it very promptly. Um, basically, they nerfed Lone Shark Reefy. Instead of reducing damage by one while you have no buffs in play, um, they said reduce the first damage you received per turn by one while you have no buffs in play. Plus, he can't wield items. So, he's only reducing the first damage received in a turn by one, and then you also can't wield items on top of that. Because, you know, I'll tell you myself, I did play in a Delivery Crab tournament with Lone Shark Reefy, and I did win, and it is a completely busted deck. They needed to do that. Uh, next we have two items, Skyrider and Flynamo. So Skyrider used to have two abilities, an attack ability and a defend ability. Basically what they did is they, they got rid of the defend ability and they only kept the attack ability. So now it's just attack ability, you discard one card to deal four damage. Plain and simple, it's a storm item. Um, it was kind of broken with, you know, the defend and the attack ability because it's just so versatile. It's ridiculous. Uh, next we have Flynamo, which is a very, very commonly played card in any deck. Um, especially Nationals and before that. Um, previously it read it was a defend ability, one healing if you have less than 20 health, gain one additional action without any stat restrictions. Basically this was just a free turn, uh, it gave you no stat restrictions so that you could play, you know, any element that you want, uh, however many times you want. It didn't matter about superiority with your hero or anything like that. Um, and then, yeah, it would also give you one healing if you were below 20 health, plus you would just, you know, get that additional action. It's just ridiculous. So basically what they change it to is defendability, one healing if you have less than 20 health. Okay, we get to keep our healing. Rotate one of your action buffs one step forward. Um, now this is a big change to how Flynamo used to be, um, but I mean, I'm sure that some decks could still utilize that Flynamo ability. We're just gonna have to wait and find out, guys. And the last card that we have is Paralysis Bug. Uh, Paralysis Bug is a Astral Action card. It previously read, draw one card, select the hero when this card comes into play. That hero can't draw cards or defend. Now this card reads, draw, rotation, cards, your target can't defend. So basically, you know, giving your your opponent, you know, the setback of not being able to, dr to draw cards or defend, um, plus the one draw power on top of that, it was just completely broken. Um, not completely broken, but it, it was to a point where they needed to do something about it. 
So there it is, guys. Like I said, it's a, it's a lot of, you know, you just sifting through the database hours on end <laughs> and, you know, deck building that way. Um, at least I know that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, in Chicago this weekend and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we are going to be playing in classic format, so keep a lookout for those deck lists. I'm sure that some kind of meadow will arise and we will uh, we'll finally get to see, you know, what classic format's all about. That's about it for me, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Once again, I'm Tetra of House Umbran. I bid you farewell. Hey, thank you guys for watching. This is Testament with the Umbran House checking out. If you guys are new to the channel, just hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it'll really help out a ton. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. Take care.